Thanks a lot. Um, I thought I had more time, so I'll squeeze it in a little bit. However, mayors, uh, excellencies, and uh, uh, all protocols duly observed, thanks a lot for being here, and thanks a lot, Julian, and uh, the Cities Alliance teams for inviting us uh, from the side of the implementation agencies to comment a little bit. Uh, it's an honor for me to speak. And um, talking to uh, the participants in the last days, or day, uh, I think everybody is aware of what GIZ is, and I don't need to talk more about the country profile or the company's profile. Uh, here at GIZ in Ghana, I owe the Deputy Minister of Industry this information. Uh, here in Ghana, we work in, with about 200 people's staff, uh, and basically uh, for more than three decades now. In, currently, we have three uh, focal areas. That's agriculture, sustainable development, uh, sustainable economy, development, and governance. The program that I work for um, is a part of that governance cluster. And we work with our colleagues in the Ministry uh, of Local Governance and Rural Development uh, since the late 90s already. And uh, right now the program is focusing uh, on three areas, that is uh, internally generated funds, uh, budget planning, and uh, networking in the communities. Uh, although uh, there is not much time, I quickly want to refer to uh, what William uh, Cobbett said yesterday when he said three important issues need to be done. Start from where we are uh, and uh, change the relationship between citizens and cities. And, but the third part, that is the one I like most, and I quote you here, we shall not recognize local government as a lower form of governance and an extended arm of administration. That is exactly what we're working on. That's our business, uh, and that's what we're working on. Uh, what I also see as the, as, the, as, the, as the task that is derived from the Ghanaian uh, Constitution, which in Chapter 20 does only speak about decentralization. Um, however, I skip that part that would have been a bit legal spice uh, uh, due to the time constraints, and let me get to what we do in our cooperation with Cities Alliance in the last four years. Uh, we have been working especially on the uh, LSE, Land Service and Citizenship Program. Uh, our goal was to support the development of a national urban agenda focused on inclusive urban development policies and strategies. Our main partner is uh, uh, the UDU, Urban Development Unit in the Ministry. And uh, how do we do that? We have another uh, young and capable expert here, Leonard Kale. Could you raise your hand? That is our expert in the field. He's basically working uh, full-time in the UDU, and surely he can answer more questions in detail. Our achievements, Julian and uh, Sylvan has mentioned it already, uh, the institutional capacity building of the UDU is one. Uh, the uh, Ghana National Urban Forum uh, is another one. And uh, we've been basically working on that policy side. We've been also working on a BEP-based monitoring evaluation system that is in place now and uh, launched media uh, and advocacy campaigns. Uh, by the way, we have uh, documentaries online, on air, and GTV right now. You mentioned it already. So I had three guiding questions, and I quickly want to answer them, uh, the three guiding questions. The first one was, uh, what is it that we can learn from the country programs and that feeds into the recommendations of future programming? Our lessons learned is that it is a valuable and appropriate approach, very much. It helps to institutionalize a national policy framework and to implement activities on the local level. This participatory approach enhances ownership and sustainability. And uh, what we also think, think is that the, the, the uh, collection of, of data, that is, that is one of the core businesses uh, that we also will uh, transport into the future and it will lead to accurate and reliable planning uh, uh, for, for, for all fields of development. Um, we are one of the three or many, well, the three that speak here now, but the, the many uh, implementing agencies and this is a difficult task. Uh, so uh, coordination is the key. If you ask me what can be enhanced, 
coordination can always be enhanced, but that is uh, something we also very much hope to see in the future. But uh, our, our conclusion is clear. We hope that this, this uh, support for Cities Alliance uh, will continue. Uh, what are the main innovative features of the country program the model? Well, to make it uh, short, uh, we see a clear advantage in the country program approach in, in comparison to the bilateral programs because it will bring uh, together the relevant uh, uh, stakeholders and partners. And uh, it also allows a good access uh, to global platforms. And we can see uh, this uh, conference is one of them. How is the approach experienced across the role players in general? Good. Well, we shared information. We invited other stakeholders in the LSC programs. They invited us. So the cooperation uh, was good and the coordination uh, through the ministry was also uh, good. Um, there, is there room for improvement? Yes, there is, but uh, from, our, from our perspective, yes, it was a very, very positive experience working uh, in the last four years. So I can conclude, Cities Alliance surely created an urban constituency in the Ghana which didn't exist eight years ago. Things have been changing. And um, we, uh, we see the current challenges uh, which our cities in Ghana are facing, but uh, rather this is a moment right now to continue our efforts. And there is certainly a momentum that we can use right now. Uh, and uh, I want to assure you that GSZ is, uh, is ready to continue our partnership. Thank you very much.